All right, I don't know who needs to hear this out there, but chances are more than just one of you needs to hear this. Never give up on your martial arts journey like a freaking... All right, listen, there's no reason to ever give up your martial arts journey. Like, even if you get an injury, even if you get a serious injury, there is more than one way to train in the martial arts, and you never have to give up on your martial arts journey. You could do it, all right? And I don't mean to blow smoke. You could fucking do it, no matter what. Even if you had, even if you had to switch up your training and do alternate forms of things, you could. But chances are, you don't. So there's no reason to give up your martial arts journey. Not, especially not for a woman. Not because of lack of money. Not because of anything. The only thing, the only valid excuse, it's not a valid excuse, the only excuse that you could ever have for giving up your martial arts journey is because you're a fucking pussy or because you're fucking lazy. Don't do it. Even if you had no money, you could definitely go to some gym, all right, somewhere and find a coach, find a, a sensei, a sifu, whatever you call it, find someone to say, listen, man, I don't have fucking money right now. I will at some point, but I'm broke as a joke right now. But I love the martial arts. And I really want to train in the martial arts. Could we work something out? Could I do something for you over here, over there? And can you help me to train right now while I don't have money? You could do that. The only thing probably stopping you is two things. Number one, pride and ego. Number two, laziness. All right, so don't fucking give me any excuses. You know, I got a fucked up back. I've always had a fucked up back. I've never let it stop me once. It makes my martial arts journey considerably more difficult but i've never once used that as a fucking excuse ever i know other guys another guy at my place has back surgery had just had back surgery like i think like six months ago he's back on the mats he's doing jujitsu probably not the smartest thing but he's doing it all right and i asked him i said bro aren't you afraid like you just had back surgery he goes yeah I, like you know but i come in here and i drill i don't fight the young guys anymore I don't fucking go crazy. I think he's like a high ranking blue belt. And he says, you know, I come in here for my mental sake and I drill. And sometimes with guys like you who I know can control yourself, I do some light sparring. But he goes, I have to come in here. What am I going to do? Just waste away? I said, you're fucking absolutely right, man. So you could do it no matter what. You know, when I first started training in actual martial arts and I'm saying like, you know, the tough stuff, I didn't want to do it. I had to make myself do it every single day. And then when I started doing jujitsu, I fucking hated it. And to be completely honest with you, I don't really enjoy it that much even still. But I had to make myself go to jujitsu every single class for a long, long time. And to be honest, to be completely legit with you guys, I still have to make myself go most days. Like, I go. It's part of my routine now. But if I had a valid excuse, would I like skip it? Yeah. So I try not to let myself, I at least hit two days a week, at least. Okay. And then I do, you know, obviously I'm, I'm more into the weightlifting right now, honestly, but I make myself go. You got no freaking excuse guys. I mean, the only excuse that you can have is if you physically cannot go like, yeah, I get it. Life happens. We have to take breaks sometimes, but you know what the hardest part is after taking a break is getting yourself back in the routine. But don't let it go to waste because it will. It will absolutely all go to waste if you stop doing it. Martial arts is a perishable skill. Fighting hand-to-hand -hand combatives, just like any other of the war arts, is a perishable skill. Driving is a perishable skill. Shooting is a per perishable skill. Small unit tactics is a perishable skill. Language is a perishable skill. All of this shit is perishable. And if you don't use it, you will lose it. Now, the nice thing about it is if you don't lose it for a while, you could then start training and it comes back. It's like muscle mass. All right. If you get out of the gym for a couple months and this and that due to a, you know, a surgery or an injury or whatever it is, and then you get back in the gym, you'd be surprised how quickly those satellite receptors inside your muscles actually come back. And sometimes you even feel a little stronger when you finally do get back into the swing of things. It's the same thing with martial arts, you know? I always found it an interesting fact that if I took a couple of weeks off jujitsu, the first the first day or two that I'm back, I'm actually a better fighter 
because I'm rested. The inflammation has died down. I've given myself plenty of time and I, I fight better. And I, I usually, I usually do very well. Guys, the amount of work and dedication that chances are that you have put into yourself already because you're watching this channel is incredible. Don't let all of this go to waste. The fucking soreness, the injuries, the money you've spent on supplements, on wraps, on gloves, on belts, on geese, on whatever. The frustration that you've experienced. I'm not getting it. I'm not getting it. I'm not getting it. And then you finally get over that hump and you go, I get it. And then I'm not getting it. I'm not getting it. I suck. I suck. I'm getting better. I'm getting better. I'm really good. Oh, I'm not getting it. It's like that. It really is. like It's like looking at a freaking stock chart sometimes. If you were to really map out your progress, and it's not just jujitsu in any martial art, in boxing, in whatever, there's going to be weeks and months, sometimes even fucking a year or two will go by where you're like, I fucking suck at this. I don't know why I'm doing this. For me, jujitsu, it's, it's very hard. I'm not a natural grappler, but I make myself fucking do it. And I can plot my progress out. And it usually looks like this. I suck. I suck. I suck. I suck. I'm getting better. I'm getting better. I suck again. I'm getting better. I'm getting better. I really, I shouldn't even do this. Ah, now I get it. And then it's like that. Don't let that get to you. It's just the way it is. But you know what? You're going and you're doing it. And especially if it's something that's hard for you, you're a fucking man or woman. You are the fucking warrior. You are the man in the fucking arena. Why would you ever, why would you ever let that get to you? You don't feel good about it because chances are, especially if you're like a warrior, you're a type A type personality. And you don't like doing things that are not like, that you're not good at, but it's good for you. And that's specifically the type of thing that you need to do. Whatever you find, whatever discipline in the martial arts you find the hardest, do more of it. Because I guarantee you that will make you a better warrior and a better person. See, that's the thing about this martial arts stuff. It's not just about on the mats. It's not just about in the dojo. All right? It's, it transfers outside of fighting. It transfers into business. It transfers into dating. It transfers into your social relationships. It transfers into almost every other area of your life. And if you stop doing it, well, you never know. You might not have all the confidence that you feel when you are training now i'm not saying all right because i get it and it happens and this is something that we all have to be aware of as professional martial artists when i say professional i don't mean getting paid for it i mean dedicated i mean constantly doing it i've been doing martial arts for 18 years have i been doing martial arts every single day for 18 years straight no i wouldn't even be able to walk right now i've had to take plenty of time off but i always come back to it and if you don't go back to it, well, go back to it because you're going to be sorry if you don't. All of that fucking progress, all of that practice will go to waste. I am telling you, it is a perishable, perishable skill. And yeah, will you be able to retain some of it? Sure. In an emergency situation, will some of it come back to you? Sure. But you better hope the person you're fighting doesn't know how to fucking fight. And chances are that if they're fighting you, they know how to fucking fight. <laughs> Don't kid yourself here. The old days of like the guy coming at you, like the whole, like the uki coming at you like this, guys, those days are over. They're done. Everybody knows how to fight now because they watch YouTube and they think they know how to fight at least. And you know, the sad part is they can watch YouTube videos and be like, be able to fake it. And you don't want to get, you don't want to be that guy that's like ultra confident, even though he hasn't trained in like two years. And he fights some guy that like watched some YouTube videos or UFC fights and you get clocked in the face by a right, a lucky right cross. You don't want to be that guy. It takes constant practice. It takes constant, constant muscle memory because that's all this shit is really when it comes down to it is two things muscle memory and practice i want to say in other words like there's going to be these moments in your martial arts career where you have revelations like for me especially in grappling it takes constantly making the same mistake over and over and over again until i get it for example like if i'm in somebody's guard 
I know that I can't reach back and try to split their guard with one hand because I'll get triangle choked. All right. Like, but it took me a lot of times of trying to do exactly that and getting triangle choked to fucking figure that out. To now I say, okay, well, maintain, you know, your discipline here, work your guard pass, do as you're told, do as you're trained, do as you're taught. Don't try to get fancy and improvise with your like bullshit ideas because that chances are when you train, when you use your own bullshit ideas, someone catches you in something and you don't want to do that on the street because they might not be nice about it and let you tap out. They might kill you. They might wait until you pass out unconscious. And when you pass out unconscious, they might fucking kick you in the head. They might piss on you. They might do all kinds of fucked up shit to you. You don't know. Their buddy might come over and say they want a piece and kick you really hard and you might not wake up. Um, it's a bad situation to like get used to never, by the way, never tap for cardio. That's just like an extra bonus from me to you. Like never give up from cardio, push through until the round is over. All right. Whether that's boxing, whether that's Wing Chun, whether that's jujitsu, whether that's judo, whatever it is. Like, push through until the round is over. Don't tap for cardio. Go all the way with it. You'll be okay. You'll live. All right? I promise. Like, you'll more than likely live. The endless hours of studying this stuff. The endless hours that you've put into weight training, solo training on the bag, cardio conditioning. Like, do you want all that to just go to waste? No. Do you want to be somebody that, like, knows for a fact when they walk on the street that, Hey, I'm I'm really like I'm sharp with this stuff. And chances are that like somebody confronts me, I'll be able to make it through this like in one piece. Or do you want to go in the back of your head and say, I might be pretty rusty. I don't know if my cardio really would even last for a real street fight. Could I even last for 30 seconds? I don't know. You know, typically street fights, I mean, I say typically street fights, there's like no hard and fast rule here, but a lot of the time street fights last like 30 seconds, a minute, something like that. Could you even last that long if you haven't done like, it doesn't matter if you run, it doesn't matter if you go on the Stairmaster. Yeah, it helps certainly, but like, unless you're used to that all out intensity, like freaking, you know, getting it, then you're out of condition and any professional fighter will tell you that. Why would you ever let any of this go to waste? I don't know, but that's not you. I guarantee it because you're watching this channel. And especially if you watch this channel a lot, you're a dedicated, disciplined warrior. Behave like it. Act like it. Get your head back in the game. Don't let your warrior skills go to fucking waste, brother or sister. I'm telling you right now, we need all of you out there that we can get because this world's only going to get crazier and crazier. And if you think it's not... Well, all right, cool. But that's not a bet I'm willing to make. I'm going to keep training. And you should keep fucking training. And keep watching this channel. Like, subscribe, throw a comment down below. It helps us in the algorithm because YouTube has been shadow banning us like a motherfucker since day one. They hate this channel. Why? I really don't know. I really don't. Because there's a lot of other channels out here that like do stuff like this. But sometimes I think we give you real information, like the real McCoy information that I've had to literally like go to opposite ends of the world to get and that most times is classified i never signed any ndas so i can fucking give you this shit but youtube doesn't not like it so anytime that you can hit that thumbs up anytime that you can put a comment down below or just do the bare minimum to like help this channel grow is greatly appreciated i'm not going to give you a sales pitch but you can check out our website we got world war ii combatives on there that you can train online with pretty convenient I hope that you take this to heart. I hope that you don't give up your martial arts journey. I hope that you don't give up training. In fact, I hope that you go out there and train even fucking harder with the mentality that you may need to actually use this stuff to protect yourself and protect your family and protect whoever, good people, protect good civilians, protect the innocent, protect the weak, do no wrong. And remember that you are your first and last line of defense.